We've now got our upload process sorted via the uploader method that we've seen here. Now we're going to focus on actually putting something in this finished callback to allow us to display what files have been uploaded successfully and haven't. This is entirely optional, but remember we do get this data back that gives us the successful and the errored files via what we are uh, output in PHP here. Let's focus on now actually you know, creating something useful in here to display to the user. So we want to go ahead and say uploads is document dot get element by ID uploads. Now this is the container we created earlier, which is going to store the uploaded file links that we get back from our request. We also want to go ahead and store the succeeded. By creating an element and that's a div and the failed we want to create an element for as well that's also going to be a div so now that we have these we can go ahead and create content within these and apply them to that container we also have an anchor that we need to create for each element that we have successful we want to create a span for each element that wasn't successful Let's just indent these. These are simply just variables. And we have an X up here we need to loop at some point. So we need to just store these. It's best practice to go ahead and declare all your variables at the top. So we want to now reset all the initial values of the upload and fail sections. So we now want to check if the failed length of what's been returned is positive. And then we say failed.inner HTML is a paragraph and we will say unfortunately the following failed now we always want to set the uploads in a text to nothing and uploads in a text is basically this we get rid of this and again if we have failed files, we want to set the failed element that we created up here to this. In fact, we need to get rid of that, add a comma. Okay, so now we want to do a for loop on all of the successful files, and we also want to do a for loop on all of the failed files. So let's do a for loop here. We start x off at zero, and we want to say while x is less than data dot succeeded dot length and we want to say x is x plus one so for each of these we want to uh, apply something to the anchor element that we created up here and that's going to be creating another element which is an anchor now we want to go ahead and add some uh, properties to this but let's do a console log on anchor first of all just to see what this looks like so I'm going to upload three valid files. Remember, we're allowing MP4. Let's upload them and check out the console. And we see now we've got three empty anchors output. Let's keep the console log here uh, alive just so we can monitor this as we go. We're going to create an href. And we're going to say uploads forward slash. And we're going to append data dot succeeded x remember that's the position that we're currently at so zero one two three and we're going to say dot file remember dot file is what we return in our json response we're also going to set the inner text of the anchor to the name of the file so again we say data dot succeeded x dot name so we set the href to the file location that we generate in PHP and output, and then we set the inner text. And I'm also going to set the target to blank, just so this opens in a new window. Obviously, all of this is completely optional and up to you. Now, when we go ahead and upload three files, let's just refresh the page and choose three more files. We will actually get in our console the elements like this. We can check that they look okay before we start to output them to the page. You'll also notice that the initial text has gone like we spoke about, so we can start to output these down here. 
So we've got a target of blank. We've got the uh, href here with the actual file location where this has been uploaded. And we have the name in here. So everything's fine. We can start to uh, pop them onto the um, succeeded element or the div that we created. In this case, it's succeeded.append child anchor. So what this will do is it will append it to the succeeded div that we created up here. And we need to actually append that down here to upload. So upload.append child succeeded. So we are creating a succeeded element. We're then filling this with anchors and then we're applying that to the uploads that we've got by ID up here, which is this container. So we're just building up this markup, but using JavaScript basically. So now what we should get is when we upload, say, three files, when we upload them, once that's finished, we should see them appear there. Let's go ahead and finish off now by doing another for loop. Again, setting x to zero, making sure x is less than failed dot, um, sorry, data dot fail dot length. And we want to increment x. So for each of these, we now want to create a span, which remember we store, started to store up here, this span. We're not storing anchors for this because there's no need. If a file hasn't been uploaded, we don't need to actually link anywhere. So we're going to create an, a span element. And we're going to say span dot inner text is data dot failed at position X and the name. So we're doing exactly the same as we're doing with the anchor, really. But all we're doing is just not including the target or the href. This time we append child and we append this to failed, we append the span to failed. So as you may have guessed down here, we do uploads append child, but we upload failed as well. So if something has failed, we'll get failed um, set to inner HTML. Now this is actually going to um, show that message and then also show others. So let's check this out by going ahead and choosing a file that shouldn't be uploaded. And there we are. So we have the files that have successfully uploaded. We have this because the failed length was greater than zero. And then we have these being out output as well. So the reason that we've created this callback here is because you can literally do whatever you want with data. You could, you know, uh, alert this out if you really want to do, not that it's a good idea, but you know, you have the control now to do what you want with what's been passed back uh, by PHP. In this case, though, we've just created this by outputting it. We click this and it goes straight through to the file. You can do whatever you want.